Welcome back to another Plasticon Transformers review. We are hitting up Armada today, starting out with Skywarp. Oh yes, Armada Skywarp. And his little minicon here, Thunderclash. Oh, look at little Thunderclash. Isn't he so precious? He's so small. He also turns into a little jet. Anyhow, simple way to transform this guy. Really, really, really simple. This guy's really cool. Like all the little articulation and stuff he's got. He's got little knee joints and. It doesn't really have very much of an arm joint here. I guess you could call this an arm joint because his shoulder moves up and down. And he's got this little arm here that kind of dangles. It's kind of weird. But anyway. Anyhow, you know, fold these two arms up. Then you'll take this entire thing here and pull it backward. Actually, no, you won't. I lied. Yeah, yeah, we're right. Pull it all the way back, and basically the chest piece thing here, you have to actually fold that up first. So the order of that is, basically what you're going to do is you're going to take his chest, pull it up, it'll unpeg, and then you'll take this bad part and fold it down. Then you'll take his legs and accordion, accordion in. They work like an accordion. See? Just like that. And straighten out his little guns. You can bring his, his wings down. Give him a little more of an aerodynamic. And these fins here, you can kind of do whatever you want to with. You can have them all the way down, or you can position them all the way up. Or you can position them out to give them a little more wingspan, which isn't too bad. Oh no, he's a pretty cool little minicon. I like little Thunder Clash here. He's, he breaks out a pretty cool little mode here. Moving on to the big daddy. Good old Skywarp. This guy's been aging pretty well. Anyhow, one of the gimmicks these guys actually have is a lot of electronics. Lots of electronics, special electronics, no matter what you do with them. One thing you could do when he's in jet mode is press on this cockpit. Makes a laser sound. Now, take the little thunder clash here and he's got those little bitty grooves you see at the top of his cockpit. Those plug right into that little slot right there. Kind of tricky. I normally stand him up on his tail. That way I don't have to press the buttons and ruin the sound effect for you. But that looks like he has more guns. Because he does. Makes a different noise. Pull a little thunder clash here off. And we'll go around over here to the very back portion. He's a very big Cybertronian jet, by the way, guys. If you guys don't know how big this guy is, you're going to see exactly how big he is, because he's pretty good sized. Anyhow, got this nice little Minicon port here. And we'll take a little Thunder Clash. You have to fold his wings all the way down. That, or you can just fold his wings all the way up. It's a lot easier if you fold his wings up all the way up. It kind of makes like a third jet mode or something. You can kind of move his little hands in like that. So that way it doesn't look too goofy on the back of this. But what you do is you push this little mini con right on here. His guns flip out. Should make another noise. Pull the minicon off. 
and he makes another noise. Anyhow, enough of that rattle. Shh, quiet. Does have two firing missiles? Get them to fire. They fire pretty good on this thing too. Also, you can move these two little things back. Click them back into place. Now, to transform this guy. First thing I always do is I pull this wing off. Yeah, I know it's kind of weird. Pull the wing off. And then the next thing I'll start doing is pretty much untab his entire leg section and start moving his legs out. You'll rotate it and bring it down like that. Pull his leg out. Rotate, and then we'll work on his arms. His arms kind of accordion down, and then you'll work on getting his fist out. It's got a little tab right there. It's kind of hard to grab sometimes, especially as old as this toy is. People might not think, you know, 2001 wasn't that far ago. Guys, that's 11 years. Think about it. So if any of you guys remember Armada, kudos. It was a good show. Anyhow, move his arms down here. Kind of move them out a little bit. Now, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drop down this front portion. Clicks into place. Now this entire waist thing, it's going to kind of rotate a little bit as you're pushing it up. Kind of move his legs as you're doing this, and when you do that, you get, if I can get it to work, oh, duh, scratch everything I just said there, because that was totally wrong. Just take his legs and you kick them all the way back. And then you'll take this and plug it into that tab. And when you do this, you will get epic head reveal. And there is Skywarp. Let you get a good look at his face. Because he's dead. I don't care what anybody says, Skywarp was by far the coolest seeker ever. Another thing you can do on his feet, he's got fairly good sized platforms going on here, but sometimes he gets a little back heavy, so they conveniently put two heel spurs back there. All his gimmicks still work, every sound still works when he's in robot mode, really no difference. But, you will take this nice little wing portion. As you can see, the uh, Decepticon is actually molded into the plastic. It's a nice touch. Maybe Hasbro should do it more. What you do is you'll grab it here and here, and you'll pull up, kind of. Well, mine's being kind of stiff. But you pull it up all the way out like that. And you will place it in his hand conveniently right here. That forms his sword. A uh, cool thing about this guy is he's actually got mini com ports on his arms. So, take a little thunder clash here. And I always fold his arms all, or his wings all the way out. You can fold these up if you want to. Make it look like he's got spikes sticking out. 
and you can plug it into his arm. Just like so. Why is that? Thunder Clash serves as a shield for his convenient little sword he's got here. So that way whenever he's wanting to murder Autobots, he can just beat the living piss out of them. Not to worry about getting crap kicked out of him. Anyhow, told you guys he's pretty good sized. There's Skywarp. I'm going to grab probably a figure most of you guys possibly have in your collection. Movie verse. Shockwave. Yeah, he's he measures up to him pretty good. It's got a good size. That's the crazy thing is this is almost like a leader class size now. Considering they keep getting smaller and smaller. I understand why. Because our economy sucks, guys. Come on, think about it. The world is in turmoil, but... I don't want to bring anybody down. It's the truth. Our Transformers aren't going to be as great. But the great thing is we're still getting them. Can't complain. So, this has been a review for good old Skywarp here. And little Thunder Clash. Stay tuned. I will have more plastic kibble on its way. This is Plasticon signing off and that's my cell phone so I gotta go. Catch you later. <laughs>